Today, I'll have nature's nectar pear by Maturus or Naturus. And as my father always said, Mm -mm. Went down to 99 degrees Fahrenheit, 215,425 miles on the odometer. It is June. 25th, 2024. Welcome to the Please Subscribe Show. Just saw a web series called Chin Up by Laura Lipschitz. Her name is on the web series thing. Three seasons so far. The South African kind of uh, a comedy. It's really a comedy about a, a struggling actress. And I saw a, a segment, a five minute segment out of it. Uh, just last night and r recommended it to Linda. It's very good. Linda and I did get to record a song and we're headed off. I'm headed off right now to delivery. So here we go. Five twenty two nine two point four. All right, that's from yesterday. It's from today. David Bowie created an album in 1972 called Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. And in a, a song on that that's a single, that's a great song, is called Five Years. It's on the album. It's about an alien who realizes that the Earth only has five years. And he's talking to people of earth you have to listen to it it's mostly drums and he does play 12 string guitar on it as well and it's very pushed with the vocals if you want to listen to how to record vocals you want to listen to david bowie and john lennon those two are the masters of recording vocals especially david bowie who probably i think outshined john lennon in the long run He's no longer, both are no longer with us. One was cut short in 1980 uh, by the man with no name. And that was in front of the Dakota. That was John Lennon. His life was taken away by an obsessed fan. David Bowie, of course, died a few years back, not very long ago, after he made the album uh, Black Star. But check out his al album, Ziggy Stardust. It's actually the full title is The Rise of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, 1972 correction on the David Bowie album. It's the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. That's the 1972 album with the song Five Years on it. I am using that song in the play Um. It plays on the television in the opening of Um. All right. And then we'll be posting uh, the Lyndon Cole band is back together. We'll be, we'll be posting a new song soon. So be on the lookout. And also each night you'll get a section of the play. Twofold on that. In some segments of Back to Kitty and Linda, you'll see a scroll of the play. And in some sections, it may just be the scroll of the play. But every night you'll be introduced to a new scene from the play. And that'll be an isolated uh, vlog, which can be up to three to four to five minutes or so. It's usually pretty short. The other vlog is a little longer. That would be Back to Kitty and Linda. That one sometimes will have the scroll of the entire play. Feel free to stop and start to read the play. Pushing through the market square. So many mothers crying, crying. Just to be a, on Zach on the 1972 David Bowie album, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders of Mars. And the song, of course, Five Years. The first part of it, it does go, pushing through the market square, 
so many mothers crying. And then it continues on. But I like to put the echo in there sometimes. Now, if you look at the lyrics, the echoes will be in parentheses. This is very important for the writer, especially when it comes to song lyrics, because we could all agree that a, a song lyric and, and then an echo would be put in parentheses, not the song lyric itself. So the song lyric itself could just be in quotes or normal. I just want to go into drinking milkshakes, cold and long. Okay, but it's very hot outside. It feels like I'm on Mars. What I mean is that the actual text of the lyric can be a normal text, our quotes, but when it comes to an echo, it can be in parentheses. We can agree upon that. Five three eight eight two point four. I believe in the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust. The rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the spiders from Mars. In five years, the drum beat actually goes bum 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 bump imitating a heartbeat bum bump to a certain degree bum bump pushing through the market square bum bump so many mothers crying bum bump and the entire song even ends that way too all Bowie does in the song with the 12 string guitar he treats it almost like a harp it just goes ring it makes one stroke or one strum throughout the song and he mostly uses vocals Remember, he was studying, what was he studying? What was he also trying to produce before he became one of the most iconic rock stars of all time? You could even say he's the queen of glamour rock. And what was it? He was studying children's music. He was trying to understand how to make children's music. He just switched it over a little bit and had a little bit of funk and it became Whatever Dave Bowie, whatever David Bowie is, you know he's he's uh, an entity himself. So Ziggy Stardust, it's the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the spiders from Mars. Now Bowie says in five years that his brain hurts a lot. Five years, that's all we got. Now the brain may be hurting him because what it's called is it's called brain freeze. He mentions how he can see her drinking milkshakes, cold and long. So the alien wants to be like her. So he goes and drinks his milkshakes and it, he gets a brain freeze. Now there may be a book on Ziggy Stardust that explains this in detail, but that's my theory. I always have theories about, my, my, about songs, even like I had the one theory about the Black Sabbath song. I found out Black Sabbath did have a song called, um, the song was called War Pig slash Luke's Wall. The reason it's called Luke's Wall is not because of that whole Armageddon thing. I still believe that, but there was a wall built by St. Luke to protect the Christians. That's actually not true. There were two, uh, basically road crew members in, um, Ozzy Osbourne or, well, Black Sabbath had two road crew guys. One name was Geoff, uh, Luke. His, he also good, went by Lucas. And he was one of the road crew guys. He helped them. The other guy uh, was called Spock Wall. Those two names were merged together to make Luke's Wall. Now, if that's uh, a play on words and Ozzy was talking about Armageddon and the war pigs being these generals, these evil witches that gather in masses, and then they meet uh, basically on the grounds of Armageddon to fight God, to use their tools to fight God. And a wall was built possibly by Luke. Now, Ozzy may have been toying with the words, but he was also calling out to friends. The rock star and the band members 
they never let down their friends or they try not to. And those two guys were their friends. It was Geoff, Lucas, and Spock Wall. That's in the Black Sabbath one. I will be doing research on Ziggy Stardust. Please feel free if you watch the show, give information and comments. Sometimes you guys help. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to get, to get my pizza. I'm like, it's all yours. Enjoy it. Five years stuck on my eyes. Five years. I, I didn't do that. Because <laughs> I'm exploring Ziggy Star, the, the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust. And uh, Oh, okay, I'll wait. Thanks so much. Uh, I'll wait, I'll wait. Thank you. Looks like it's a little full. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. So many people. Do, 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 do. The short and fat people. Do, 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 do. to the purple right about there for flowers over my head so many flowers short and fat flowers dun, 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 dun. addictive song I, my favorite part in it is drinking the milkshakes cold and long I think he knew that that would be the people's favorite
also in Ziggy Stardust or the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders of Mars, he wrote a song called Five Years. He also says his brain hurts a lot because in the beginning he talks about how he crammed all the images, um, everything that he saw, uh, in, in like his head was like a warehouse. He had to put everything in there. So it began to uh, hurt after a while, analyzing the song. Six thirteen six two point four. All right, guys. Now, the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. The first song on the album is Five Years, and I'm studying it now. And then we'll go to the next one. I'm listening to the album on YouTube. Greenwood's right here. That's where Linda and I did the vlog about the graveyard the other day cemetery vlog. There is a famous person that is buried there named Rob Roddy or he goes by Roddy. He was the voice on The Price is Right that said, come on down! The Price is Right! The one that helped the game show guy or whatever. They got the voice uh, TV announcer. That was Rod, uh, Robbie Rod, uh, Roddy. I think they called him Roddy. Rob, Robert Roddy, he has a full name and everything. We might try to do a vlog about him. It just depends on scheduling. He's the most famous one, and then there's also, um, I believe it's Van Cleburne, who's a famous pianist. He's also buried at Greenwood in, in Fort Worth. He also has a, a, a booth at Old South, the, one of the most famous uh, piano players, and he's in Fort Worth, buried here. sight of that. Now, in uh, the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, Five Years does have the song with the drum that imitates a, a heartbeat. And there's the 12 string guitar. There's also a piano. It sounds like a grand piano that's being played and chords as well. Not a whole lot of instruments other than, of course, Bowie's iconic voice and it's hypnotic, the entire song. Far better than any song that we could touch today. Uh, it just seems like it's made by an otherworldly entity. Sensitive. 628.10, 2.5. 